Wow, well, this is exciting news. Pastor Ron Kelly for the Village Seventh-day Adventist Church in Berrien Springs, Michigan, just gave a sermon on Sabbath telling Adventist church members to go out and vote no against abortion, and this puts him in direct opposition to Conrad Vine. It puts him in direct opposition to President Ted Wilson. This is directly opposed to everything that we have heard for years from people like Ivor Myers, Stephen Bohr, Nicholas Miller, Dwight Nelson, Kevin Paulson, Dennis and Matthew Preby, Pavel Goya, Walter Weiss, John Lomacang, Mark Finley, Dan Jackson, Eric Walsh, Peter Landless, etc., etc., and of course the Religious Liberty and Health Ministries departments who have all publicly affirmed that abortion is in fact a right of religious freedom and conscience. Well, if as they say that abortion is a religious freedom and matter of conscience that cannot be legislated, then Pastor Ron Kelly has just committed serious heresy by using the pulpit on Sabbath morning to teach something completely contrary. Furthermore, that abortion is a matter of religious freedom and religious liberty has been been the very public official teaching of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, that this is a matter of conscience, and we have been told for decades that you cannot legislate matters of conscience. And here is Pastor Ron Kelly telling people the exact opposite, that this is not a right and should be rejected. Now this is huge. Furthermore, Pastor Ron Kelly said that people are cowards. At around 4 minutes 40 seconds in the, video, in the sermon, he said that if they remain silent on this issue, they are cowards. People in our church have repeated for decades that talking about abortion is a political issue, and Pastor Ron Kelly completely condemns this in the most explicit manner. Again, completely opposite. And not only does he condemn silence as being a coward, but says, quote, silence is now a dereliction of duty. Considering that in all of Michigan, while there may be others that we don't yet know about, he and also Pastor Michael Hess of the same church are the only known people in the entire state of Michigan to speak about this. What happened? I thought Michigan was the home of the GYC and the champions for conservative Bible truth. What happened? For many years, people have called me a weirdo, wacko, fanatic, crazy, unhinged, extremist, unbalanced person, agent of Rome. And here is Pastor Ron Kelly, employed by the church, saying the exact same thing. Are you going to go attack him now? What about the Conrad Vine fan club? Where are you now? Where is the Ivor Myers, John Lomacang, Kevin Paulson fan club? Where are you now? According to you, this is satanic heresy. Where is the, where's the Stephen Bohr and Walter Weith and Dwight Nelson fan club who have been screaming for years that God is pro-choice? Are you going to just sit by silently while you are described as cowards by Pastor Ron Kelly? We've been told by folks like Ivor Myers and others that opposition to the legalized violent killing of children is racist. Does that mean that Pastor Ron Kelly is a racist now? People have been saying that Ted Wilson is correct. Oh, he's a godly man anointed by God as our leader. But Ted Wilson openly publicly claimed that abortion is a matter of conscience. It's on video multiple different times and that it's a right that cannot be legislated. Now make no mistake, the use of civil power by apostate Christianity is making coercion a substitute for conversion and will lead directly to the formation of the image to the beast. So unless you're in that position, I don't believe that we can enforce this law on someone. We cannot be the conscience for someone else in this situation. The church cannot force people. And of course we cannot force people or legislate sure. people. And yet here is Pastor Ron Kelly on the Sabbath in the pulpit openly telling people to go out and vote against this as a moral imperative. This is not about me, pro-life Andrew. No, this is now out there in the open. This right here is in your face and undeniable and irrefutable. It's right there on video. And where are all the people who said, I'm personally pro-life, but God is pro-choice and we can't legislate this? Well, here he is literally on video. So what are you going to do? This man openly said that not speaking against this proposition is an act of cowardice. And because all these people are silent, 
and have been silent, not only here in Michigan, but also in California, and also with Roe versus Wade, then by definition, they are cowards. Are you just gonna sit here and take it? We've been told that this will lead to the dreaded Sunday law. Oh my, you all are just gonna just sit there and let Pastor Ron just get away with this? What are you gonna do about it?